Hey everybody, my name is Dan Demogorgas, and welcome to Death Stranding. It's a very highly anticipated game by Hideo Kojima, and I'm, I've only played possibly two hours of it, and it's, it's different. It's got scary elements, but it's not a horror game. It's just more like action, adventure kind of stuff. But I mean, see how gruesome this is? All these dead beach whales on this black sand, and it's just, it's, it's awesome. I think I like, I like the aesthetic. I'm gonna go more into everything as we go. Yeah, let's just go. So I just wanted to get an idea of the game, so let's just, and we'll play it on normal. Recommend it for those. Who have some familiarity with action games strikes a balance between challenging gameplay and the ability to enjoy the story. I like that, and it can be changed anytime via the options menu, which is always cool to know if you're like, eh. but okay. So we got dead crabs, dead crafts. But one thing I really like, and as you'll see, this location is inspired by Iceland. Thus the black sand, you'll see all the scenery. Um, but I think it's actually like in America, like the location. Oh, let me put up my birthday. I don't, higher levels of Doom's abilities have been observed in those under Born under constellations such as Cancer, Pisces, Cetus, Delphinus, and Gygus. I don't... I don't think I'm any of those. Well, whatever. Let's just get right into it. Oh, we got an, more intro. Oh, and just a warning, there's lots of cutscenes. Like, it's very cutscene driven. I don't know if that's just the beginning, like I said, I only played maybe two hours of it. But that's... That's that stuff. You know, the Kojima Productions. The rope along with the stick are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep the bad away, the rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends of our own invention. Wherever there were people, Once there was something. An explosion. A bang which gave Truth. birth to time and space. We pull things towards us, we push things away. Once there was an explosion. But a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life. Our whole universe was in a hot dead state. Explosion. Big bang theory. Fucking Iceland! All that moss. I, I mean, after being in Iceland, I, I could I could say this, this shit's Iceland. It, it's proven. And I'm just gonna deal with if there's copyrighted music. I'll just play something over it. Death Stranding. The upside down rainbow. That's pretty dope. into it much, but I loved P.T. You know, the, the supposedly Silent Hills, but it never came to fruition. But I think it was Norman's Reedus at the end of Silent Hills. I could be wrong, correct me, but I thought that was like the direction he was going for. So when he did this instead, and you know, Del Toro, he's pretty cool. It's just, it's like a movie game, but also, it's just, it's like a, I don't know, I haven't 
beating it. So I'm just gonna let y'all chill. Get your popcorn. We're just gonna be chilling for a minute, you know? We can sell these cutscenes. That's who we play as. Upside down rainbow. Falling from the sky. That bike is dope. I ain't gonna lie. It's got two wheels at the front and one in the back. Like, I don't. Is that good or bad? I don't know if that's more practical. That's so cool, though. And of course, something following us. Those birds are running from something. Same as those deer. Come on, you got it, my boy! My boy! My boy didn't make it. A lot of people didn't make it, apparently. So what's up with this rain? This is the rain that brings the pain. Hit him with that 21. Coming back from mo. Oh. Who that? Where'd she go though? Just teleported. Oh, and of course, I saw she has a cool jacket. I have the same kind looking thing, so. No, 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 no. I thought I'd wear it for a little bit, you know? Oh, great. Huh. Get more immersed in the game. Okay, now we're playing. Recover your cargo, then find shelter from the rain. Alright, so we just pick up this stuff. I think we can search around with that. There's some more. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't go that way. Tap to scan. I think that's pretty freaking dope. The Audra decks can scan for cargo tags. Every piece of cargo has a tag attached. So we can get this one. Key cargo for the smart drug delivery order located. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we got... So we have a limit on how much we can carry, of course. We gotta get out of this rain, though. But thankfully, just keep, just keep pressing R1 and you'll... You'll know if there's any ca any cargo. I guess there's smart drugs or something. Not sure what that is. Maybe we finna find out. Get way out the rain over there. Get some shelter. Helter shelter. Mm. Sam, Norman Reedus, <laughs> it's your boy. So we chillin'. Yeah, so I don't know what's up with this rain. I do, but like, I don't know exactly why it's happening. He's got handprints all over his body. What, what what does that entail? You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. That's a mystery. Oh. Is 
like made us age, made like our hair gray, our skin, I guess, wrinkle. Getting like some red goosebumps. And needless to say, the graphics in this are phenomenal. Oh! What's that? It's got like human hands. Little nails, just like, how y'all living? Agile. What is you? And why do your claws come out afterwards? Like some weird human dinosaur. What is this, Jurassic Park? I think we good, everyone. <sighs> Is that another one? Or he just was like, hold on, let me do a little, ma little loop around, hold up. Probably the same one, but it's fucking. Excuse me, don't mind me. Okay. Lots going on. But that, like, that's. And who are you? Oh. Who are you? Who are you all? Weird things in the in the sky. Those things make you cry. Prologue, Porter. Okay. I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. See, and your spikes went away. Viral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. I guess sometimes your, ja your jacket gets horny. You know, it's like defense mode. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. Time fall? My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. Fragile. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. Nice. The man who delivers. That's my thing, I just deliver. Don't care what it is, delivery.
I'll admit, this game is really weird, but I, I, I like weird. You want it? Do you buy it a day? Keeps the time fall away. Crypto a bite? Yummy. I mean, if it keeps the time fall from killing us, you know. I eat one of those water bear looking maggots. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not huh. much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Oh. Soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Yeah, we we got cargo to deliver. But I'm sure we'll see her later. Headed into town. That umbrella is so cool. Or whatever it is. Those things never stay gone for long. I guess it keeps you safe from the time fall. That's very nice. The time fall fast forwards whatever it touches. Picture him and but it can't wash everything away. Someone some other people just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Oh. She got horny. She said, I'm bouncing. Look at this damn shit. Blood is Santa gauges. The red bar is the blood guy gauge. When it reaches zero, Sam will die. The blue bar is the Santa gauge. As the gauge depletes, Sam moves more slowly, and maintaining his balance is harder. Okay, so the f definitely more cargo in here. Take that. One like received. Okay. Oh, goodness. What is this? Eat. Oh. Using Kyobice to restore blood levels. Losing too much blood will cause your movements to become sluggish. And make it harder to keep your balance. Eating crypto with bites will rapidly restore your blood levels. Okay. So they're just kind of out and about to keep an eye out for them, I guess. Fair enough. Dope. Just like the Joker, why so serious? Looking on, gotta maintain our balance too. Deer that didn't make it? Uh, or just probably another deer. Endurance gauge appears above the stamina gauge when performing actions that wear on Sam's body. When the gauge fully depletes, Sam can no longer bear his load and be sure to take a break before this happens. Okay. I think that's everything. All the cargo. I didn't see anything else. So of course, again, Iceland and their waterfalls. I mean, it's just beautiful. Black sand, waterfalls, huge mountainous areas, full of mo beautiful 
lush green moss. Sometimes find cargo from abandoned deliveries dotted about the landscape. Delivering the cargo to its intended destination in good condition will be very popular indeed. All right, nice. Center of balance. Okay. A lot to learn. Anything else up here? I think that's it. I'm gonna head back down. Center your balance with both hands to be able to hold on for longer. Okay. In the river. Let's just keep riding the river. Oh! There's something else over there. And over there. We got, we got some goodies. Oh, oh, oh. Maintain just balance. It's best it's just to hold L2 and R2 together most of the time, but it's, you know, depending on which way sways left or to the right. You gotta just balance it out. A game about balance. Let's see if I can get through this. Just gotta keep... Keep on keeping on. Onward. I think this is cool. Exploring this beautiful landscape. Dope ass music. I'm sure it only gets better. Alright. There's another one right there. We're almost to the city, or wherever we're supposed to be going. This area. Yeah! Careful. Careful. Alright. Yeah, you don't want to damage the cargo. Watch the trim! Carrying too much cargo. Make it easier if you lose your balance. If you find yourself swaying left to right, use L, R2, R, you know. L2, R2 to shift your weight in the opposite direction to recover balance. Like I was mentioning. I'm gonna leave it off here. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know what you think about Death Stranding. If you've ever played it, if you want me to keep playing it. I'm enjoying it so far. Playful Philosopher Quote of the Day is... Life is hard, then you die. Then they throw dirt in your face. Then the worms eat you. Be grateful it happens in that order. David Gerald. I thought it was appropriate. Of course, death. And just, I thought that was a funny way of putting it. Like, the thing about life, it's difficult. And it doesn't seem to ever get easier. But we just grow stronger. And we get through it. In the end, we die, regardless of all our accomplishments. But at least, you know, we're not getting the worms and the dirt thrown on us first. Well, I mean, you probably could, but you know what I mean. Just knowing that life may be difficult, but it's death is inevitable, whether you like it or not. Oh, <laughs> I guess if you just stay idle, you get a little, a little sleepy, and you get a trophy. Okay.
Anyway. I have a playlist on screen right now for Resident Evil. You know, a pretty spooky game. Playlist to Jeff Force Gemini. Another game I've been recently playing. And also a random video. If you like the video, consider subscribing, sharing with a friend. Hit that notification bell. You, you know, like, leave a comment just saying what's up. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.